Okay. Heavenly Father, please cover this message with your grace and your discernment in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I have two visions within a dream to bring to you. Um, I got them yesterday morning upon waking. I had a vision of walking down totally empty streets. And where I live, where our, our state is under an order to stay at home, but we're more of a rural area. Um, and it is a, you know, please stay home effect, not stay in your houses or, you know, it's going to be an issue for you. Um, you're asked to stay at home except for essential outings like getting gas in your car, those who still have to go to work. And, you know, so that's what we're under. But in this, I was walking down a very um, familiar street to me and there was not a car on the road. There was not even like looking at the houses, there was not even people in the yards. There were, it was just like, like there was no one there. Um, and I came to a lemonade stand um, and the man was selling organic lemonade, but I knew he was out of sugar and he was also out of lemons. And I watched as he put the very last lemons that he had into his um, machine and he churned it up and he poured out this glass of basically lemon water and that was going to be it. Um, and let me, let me go ahead and tell you the, the meaning of that dream uh, or the, the meaning of that so far is the first thing that jumped is when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, you know? And so I've come upon this lemonade stand organic of all things. Um, and not only is he out of sugar for his lemonade to make it sweet and palatable, he is also out of lemons. Uh, and what I believe this means for the future is that I, I believe that we, especially in America, are in a time of shaking. That this is a time where the Lord is waking up his people. Um, and that is evident based on the, if you go to my dream, the, the last hour, it talks about, um, that, that I knew the whole world would be shaken. And that was, I think in February, um, I had a dream about the churches will burn the closing of the churches and not elevating the building above the temple of the living God, which is you. That was a pretty incredible dream. And then also hiding in the cleft of the rock. That was incredible. Also in that dream, everything was empty. All the streets were empty and there was this giant storm coming and it was on, almost upon us. And who knew, you know, and then I had the economic collapse dreams. Those are all dreams that I knew were from the Lord, but I didn't know what they meant until the calamity arrived. I believe that this is telling us that there is more to come. Um, I can tell you for sure that I'm seeing when I read scriptures where I'm being led in my dreams are to famines and to floods. Famines and floods, famines and floods, and an army from the north, which is interesting because uh, a couple nights ago, I woke up to, it was on April 11th, I woke up to the Canadian anthem. I, I get songs a lot in the middle of the night, so at, at, let me see what time that was. At 2.15 in the morning, I woke up to the Canadian anthem, <laughs> and they, and odd, oddly enough, Canada is to the north of us, and I keep getting these things about an army from the north, an army from the north. It's very interesting. Um... And that, I believe it was, it's Joel. Maybe not Joel. They're, they're, they're in other prophetic dreams. If you go listen to the ones I already mentioned, maybe I'll put them in links below um, so you can just skip to them. But the second part of this dream, um, after the make lemonade, you know, and that we're going to be out of not only sugar for the palatable lemonade, but also out of lemons. Um, after that came an, a, a discussion between me um, and a, a man who I knew was speaking Spanish, but I understood him in perfect English. Um, he said that there were crooked dealings, crooked businesses, and he was smiling about this. Like he was not perturbed by the fact that there was crooked dealings, crooked businesses. There were grumblings and violence would be coming against honest people that no one would be safe. And for this reason, my family was moving. And I won't say anything more about that because I have not gotten any further um, information about moving. I don't know where, I don't know when, I don't know if this is a year in the future. I don't know if he's going to be pushing us to do something sooner. As far as I know, it is all very, but, but this is a time, this is a time church, especially if you hear from the Lord or you don't know how to hear from the Lord. This is really a time where you need to be seeking his presence, getting your face in his word, asking him for direction. Um, I'm going to read you a bit from Psalm 32, which is from my children of darkness stream. I haven't done a, a, a separate video on that. It's in the rapture dream that I posted. But Psalm 32 has been a pretty amazing psalm um, for me in this time. It starts in the beginning. I'm just going to 
kind of compartmentalize it, it talks about a man who has not yet confessed his sin. I haven't confessed my transgressions. And then he acknowledges his sin to the Lord and he has been forgiven his iniquity. And then all the godly, he says, all the godly shall pray to you, meaning the most high God, in a time when he may be found, surely a flood of great waters. They shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Um, and then this is the Lord responding. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or the mule. They're stubborn with no understanding. They have to be bridled and pulled and yanked along. Do not be stubborn. Do not make God pull on your bridle. Do not make him put a bit in your mouth. He doesn't want to force his hand. He wants you to be obedient um, out, out of the love for him and knowing that he knows best for you, um, that he's trying to take care of you. This is trusting in the Lord time, people. Oh, many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. So um, please be encouraged. These 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 visions, um, I, or these things that I saw are things to come. I do believe this time of shaking will continue to be a time of trial, and I don't think that it's going to be short. Um, I think the coronavirus may not um, end up being something we have to keep our eye on, but I, I truly believe there are other things coming. It could be natural disasters. It could be so. I don't have any idea. I haven't been given a clear notion on what that is. Um, but be in prayer. Where are you to be? God, where am I supposed to be? Where am I supposed to be for my family? Um, how can we best prepare? Um, and make sure that you're listening to the guidance of the Lord. I love you all. And um, I hope that you're blessed. Please read your Bibles.